So, it's been a long time, but I'd like to welcome you to this vlog. Now I've been craving some change lately. My mental state hasn't been as stable as previous months and I couldn't quite put a pin drop on it. So I've tried changing life just up just a little bit. Visited some friends, stayed at their place at wicked times. Honestly, I've got to admit, it's amazing spending time with animals. And it's funny how they can really see your emotions as well. And there's a cat about somewhere. <laughs> this place hey. is just crazy all the time. Blue, you want coffee? Blue doesn't want coffee. <laughs> meow, meow. Come on, let's catch everyone up. Blue likes the cuddles. Okay, when you learn your lesson and you come to a party and you don't even drive down the little driveway because you're scared of how the van might perform on the way out and you park at this angle. <laughs> but the good thing is the solar panel at this angle is perfect for the sun. Right, I'm looking for a pen and paper. The most Probably one of the most old fashioned requests I ever get for. But I await the bubbles. Oh, yeah, the reggae party. This was cool. This felt bliss. It felt kind of creative at this point and somebody that I'd met uh, got a skateboard out on the halfback. So I thought I'd make a little film. And after the party, I walked up to the van to be greeted by, what can I say, yet again, just another blissful moment of life. The next day was torrential rain, and I mean torrential. And it just so happened that that was the day that I was gonna hang out with CJ for a few hours. So I drove to the main road and I got them to my secret little location where I was staying for a couple of days and this was the track on the way in. I think they had fun. I know I did.
Good morning. It's a wet one. A very wet one. Yesterday was a wet one, and today is going to be a wet, a wet, wet one. So, I'm sat in the van, and it hasn't leaked, which it didn't last time. Five days of rain did not leak. Until I drive. Beginning of the video, you've seen Helios as my friend with the horse. This is just a magical get together, beloved people, fantastic music is brilliant, food is divine, and the community just around this place. I really love it, and I did give my chance of being there for a little while, but I don't know if it's for me. I do like my time alone. I'm trying to find a compromise at the minute. Here's a little film that I put together for them, just a memory of the event that happened. This was a live music event and yeah, good food. I will leave a link in the description to the YouTube page that has just been started up for this place. Give them a follow, tell them I sent you. Good morning. It's always nice to wake up in the morning with fairy friends. Oh, the curious cats. <coughs> meow, meow. Good morning, cats. How are we? How many have we got now? We have four, I think. Hello, putty cats. Good morning. So, my morning is with a big mug of coffee. Uh, lots of little cat friends. So the cat friends come to visit me. I think there was just five or six cats in here I just have just the two with a little bit of tuna All hiding from the rain Heidi 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 From the rain I spent half a day sat on my own in the van So I decided to paint. This is for my friend's fridge. made yet more friends and then seeing them off I always say this is the sad part you will sometimes see them again when you see them go away yeah it touches me Without the face mask, because today was the day when restrictions were lifted, and everybody else in the store is giving me really weird looks. 
because they're all still wearing their masks. Here's some footage that I took from my friend's place. This is another little video I put together for their YouTube channel. Just little snippets of the morning routine. Enjoy. Okay, when you're fast asleep in bed, not doing bedroom activities, but this bolt decides to shear off and the bed sort of bows down. As you can see, that is how it's meant to be. And this is how it is. So I don't actually know where the bolt went from here. Now it's time to try and extract. Well, it's not as easy as it looks. That's three drill pieces that I've gone through. Um, mainly because I don't have the right ones and I'm just trying to force it. Yeah, let's try a bigger piece, let's see what happens. How the hell did I manage to do that? Oh no, no progress. So I've snapped every single drill piece that I've got, but they are in. I just need a way now of loosening this. If I had the right tools, the job would have been 10 times as easy. But if I can't get this out, I'll be removing the whole bed. Because all the tension is on that bracket. And the windscreen is there. And I really don't want to put the bed through the windscreen. So this has turned into a massive mission now. I have tried to extract that. And yeah, tap and die maybe. But I think... Remove the bed, just remove the whole bed, it will save some weight, I'll modify down here, this is the sofa and dinette, modify that, remove the big bed. So this is the bolt, this corner, the bed's quite heavy, I need to make sure that when I take this bracket off it doesn't swing, hit the windscreen, but yeah, this is my option now, remove the bed, I'm I'm done with trying to repair. Okay, no incidents. That's the bed removed, and yeah, this snapped as well, so it was on its way. This is a uh, focus. Where's that bit of focus? There we go. This bit snapped from here. So that was a choice well made. And it looked like this has been repaired many, many times in the past. With all these washers. <sighs> yeah. 
over cab beds or drop down over cab beds uh, consider the possibilities that it might collapse before you buy anything with a fold down or drop down bed okay this one bed safely removed with no further damage i need to um, take off the sun visors put them up here somewhere and it was damn heavy but i managed to get it through the driver's door so this is the big heavy overhead bed folded up i need to remove these work out a way of securing them on the inside maybe salvage the lights that are here but that is going to the bin okay as you can see i've managed to put the sun visors on i managed to save the cover for this one the cover for this one broke so yeah some plastic well probably will do that a lot more to clean up i don't have to remove this insulation that's here try and tidy that up but my god it looks bright in here this is a massive space so I started taking the framework apart because some of this wood I'm going to salvage and make use out of this thing although it looks like it's not very thick metal it's quite damn heavy I'm not surprised and it's just um, the few bolts that are holding it onto the anchor points and as you can see I think it's this one this one snapped here at the top this one the bolt come through and there's one on this side where the bolt come through and it's sheared off or at least pulled the anchor points that are on the inside so yeah decide what i want to keep and what's going to be burned and what's going to go to the tip right hello i have been filming today but um yeah no time to edit but today i remove the overhead bed i'm trying to salvage some of the wood so that i can make Myself new sleeping arrangements and um, tonight I'll be sleeping here so <laughs> yeah this is the mattress up against the window and uh, across the front seat and this is a twat of a stud that I needed to drill out didn't really work and then this bracket broke and the uh, I don't know what you call it the strut that was on here Good morning. Now, because I'm me, and I leave things for last minute, I leave here in one hour. One hour, my lift comes to take me to the train station so that I can get a flight to the UK to see my parents after all this time. And guess who didn't pack anything? Guess whose van isn't tidy? Guess who still has dishes to be done? Yeah, me, and I need to shower as well. So, I should really put the camera down, but I'm very good at procrastinating. I'm very, very good at distracting myself from the issue that lies ahead. I have got no charging anything. I'm charging my headphones, my over camera battery, and my phone. As we speak, hopefully there'll be enough to get me through the journey. So with that being said, I need to make coffee and make some sandwiches for the flight. Okay, made it to the train station, 20 minutes into my train, nice and early. I'm pretty glad that I allowed for extra time because after packing everything, which I should have done yesterday or the day before, I ripped everything out the bag because I couldn't find the passport and it was in my pocket the whole time. So, yes, wait for the train and get moving. So at this point, I'm going to try and explain. And I say try because it's difficult to try and explain how something feels to somebody else. Only that person understands. Now, my mental health has not been great over the past few months. I've seen a quite rapid decline since Christmas and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the weather, I don't know if it's troubles that I have with life or if it's something that I haven't addressed or if I'm just miserable. So yeah, I decided to take a trip to the UK. I think seeing my parents would really lift my spirits. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. You'll find out. You'll find out before the end of this video.
for this demonstration. Some emergency exits are indicated red exit signs. And the full staff markings will guide you to the nearest exit in an emergency. The exits are located on both sides of the aircraft at the front. Now at this point, I'm not trying to be a look at you kind of person, but honestly, just the intelligence of humans really does, it confuses me, it baffles me. I just spent close to an hour these people sat at the gate without a face mask on. To take off, fly and land, you have to wear a face mask the whole flight. to the UK, I didn't think there'd be too much of a problem, but I didn't want to take the risk just by not doing it, but I still wanted to make a point, so I decided to eat for the whole flight.
London back in the UK was not surprising. It was cold. It was damp and the people were miserable completely. Apart from on the train, there was a right party happening. Oh. So, that was the most chaotic train ride that I've ever, ever had. Everyone's partying. I felt like I was missing out a little bit. And it feels really strange to be back in the UK. And I got some home comforts waiting for me when I got back. A nice warm house. And a lovely bath. I can't remember the last time I had a bath. So, yeah. Martin style. I think it was four hours that I was bathing for. So I caught a bus to go and see some friends. We went for a couple of Guinness, which was really nice. Uh, that night I went to my youngest brother's house for a meal. And the next day I was asked if I would look after the dogs. So yeah, I fancied being really silly and I needed to exercise. I had lots of energy that I needed to disperse. So I started a rave with the dogs. I think mostly they enjoyed it. So after around nine days of being on my parents' place, I managed to sort out loads of stuff that I needed to do, stuff that I think was holding me back in the UK, stuff that was still tying me to there. I managed to dispose of lots of stuff that I kept over years and years and years and not needed. So that was nice. And I managed to bring some belongings back with me. Considering everything on the media, yeah, it's really busy. So no massive dramas, but I was stopped at security because I've got a wallet ninja and it was in the backpack, or the back of my bum bag, and I didn't realise. So yeah, that was a little bit of a... But for anyone that wants to know, you can carry one. Um, 
because the blade isn't so big. So anyone that thinks you can't carry a wallet ninja with you, the information is that you can. So after getting through security, which was a little bit longer than normal, and I was asked lots of very awkward questions because I've got a, a wallet ninja, which I tried to explain, but this is it now if you don't know what they are. So with the money I allowed myself to spend while I was in the UK, when I got to the airport, there was enough money for a cheeky little Guinness and some snacks from the shops, which I did come across a bargain so actually, and I, was really, and I was really impressed. My flight, I think, is delayed because it's not due in until like 20 past nine, and I'm meant to fly out at half past eight. The good thing is, well, no, the bad thing is, I really wanted a drink, so I ended up buying cola, but I got five sandwiches at 50 pH. So I've already, had, already eaten one, you can see here. And I have my bag of sweets from my mother. Massive bag of sweets. I've got some crisps and biscuits and chocolate and all sorts back there. So yeah, whoever's sitting next to me on the flight again, I'm so sorry. Look, 50p. So once again, apparently, I have to wear a face mask the whole time. Unless I meet you. And we're just taking off. Like we're just taxiing to the runway now. Everyone complains wearing face masks. I've got to chew it. Yum. So I didn't wear my mask during takeoff, and now I got all the treats out to nibble away. I've got to remember to nibble them away because if you're not eating, you have to wear a mask. Remember that. But if you're always eating, you don't have to wear a mask. And no one said anything to me. No one has said anything. In fact, a few other passengers I think it's comical. If it, what are they going to do now? Are they going to chuck me out mid-flight? That's not going to happen. Oh, check this out. Quite incredible. It was actually dark when we took off. And now it's sunny. Well, we're coming in to London and Warm my muzzle the whole mask. The whole mask? Yeah, I've not worn the muzzle the whole mask. So, absolutely made up, nice flight, a bit of turbulence on the way back in. I like that feeling though, it makes my stomach feel all weird. But now, yeah, let's go and do the security stuff. This is the bit that I don't like, it makes me sweat That's so it. much. I'm back in Portugal. I know one thing for sure, I'm still not sure of anything for sure sure, but one thing, I really don't believe that the UK is a place for me. Although it was lovely to be back there and see friends and spend time with my family, the people that love and I love the most. It's not the place for me to be. I think for now, I'm gonna stick with the van and stay in Portugal. So I am back in a very, very hot Portugal. I'm just at the van, it is like a sweat box.
what I'm doing is just marking out some marks to make uh, another piece there to sit on as a bench which will come out as a bed and then uh, yeah decide what to do with the table but I need a sleeping arrangement for tonight because the hammock doesn't quite fit from there to there I need to learn how to do knots properly not very good at tying knots unless it's uh, unless it's activities that I shall not speak of but yeah this is what I'm doing now so I'll keep you posted okay maybe you can't envision it but this is kind of bed mode this piece can be removed or I can make it so it folds up and this would be couch mode so I'm just gonna fit some cushions now I have, I have spare cushions from the battle bus that's because I don't get rid of anything so yeah and hopefully this will be strong enough maybe I put a support behind it this one is sitting on the sub so that's fine there's a big metal frame there so yeah I'll be able to uh, kick tonight and I always see that a lot of people struggle to cut foam now what I'm using is just my hand saw and I'm only pulling backwards so I'm not pushing forward, just backwards, and it's a, a nice, nice, clean cut. So there's a top tip right there for you. Look, it's nice and clean. It's almost like cake. So, yeah. It's a lot better than uh, when you make it look like this. So, yeah, use your saw and just pull backwards. First day back in Portugal. Successful little thing made for the bed so I can remove the table, pull this back. There's another cushion like this that fits on it. So that's a win-win. But I've just been to go and get some vegetables from my garden. Look at this lot. Look at this lot. Look at this. Absolutely wonderful. And some mint. Got loads of mint. It's coming up really well. Have a sniff of that. Oh, isn't that nice? Right, let's make some food. <laughs> 